Williams College English professors Bob and Ilona Bell have lived in this converted carriage barn in Williamstown, Massachusetts since 1978. Since then, Ilona has designed and cultivated the surrounding acre, which is on the Smithsonian Archive of American Gardens. Like the Bells themselves, this landscape has its literary side. I'm an English professor, and I love the history of English literature. I had gone to England to do research at the British Library and made a side trip to Sissinghurst, which is the garden built by Vita Sackville West, who was Virginia Woolf's lover. I wrote my sophomore essay on To the Lighthouse and loved Woolf ever since. Windows are a common garden ornament, and I think their symbolic meaning is that they put a frame around the natural world in the way that a garden frames the natural world. Surmounting the window is a quote from Andrew Marvel's poem, The Garden, a green thought in a green shade. I love the way in which English gardens combine structure with natural abundance and fertility. So I tried to mimic that here by planting a mixture of trees, shrubs, and perennials that would give structure throughout the growing season but constantly provide changes in color. The white birches, which I dug up from a friend's woods, show the garden's origins in the natural landscape of the Berkshires. The Bells also constructed a folly a modern recreation of an ancient ruin. Another room includes a man-made pond with lotuses and water lilies. The water garden where we're sitting and you can hear the water gurgling in the background came from my visits of English gardens which are full of, pervaded by the sounds of water rushing. There's also room for backyard lollygagging as in this hammock. Ilona's father, a lawyer and amateur blacksmith, made this sundial at age 90 and gave it to the Bells. And not all the literary allusions come from the canon. The window, for example, includes a statue of a character from a well-known 1904 play. She's known as Tinkerbell. 